We're done combining and now it's cleanup day. Because of the cold temperatures in the late fall, I called a buddy of mine who's got a mobile pressure washer business. He's headed over here with two guys and two pressure washers. We're going to try and wash up all of our trucks and trailers and at least one combine and a tractor and grain cart. We hope we can get that done today. As you can see here, it's freezing right now. I'm standing on ice. Uh, but it's supposed to be in the 40s today. So hopefully when we get closer to lunch, things warm up a little bit and it isn't going to be so bad. I got one of the combines down there. I'm going to take a leaf blower to it and I'm going to try and blow all the dry chaff off of it before I bring it up to the wash pad. That way all the big stuff is off of it and down on the ground in the field instead of up here on our wash pad. Just makes things a lot easier for washing. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Those guys are going to show up here pretty soon and uh, we're going to get rolling on this stuff. Remember that oil leak earlier in soybean harvest? Yeah. One of the jobs I hate the most every year is cleaning out the inside of the grain dryer. Let's see how bad it is. So the top two actually aren't too bad. You can see there that's much better than what we're dealing with inside the third one. This one here really probably doesn't need to be cleaned out, but I'm gonna do it anyway because if we have company over for Thanksgiving, I don't want my mother-in-law to judge me because the inside of our grain dryer is dirty. You know how it is. We've got to get this out of here because we got to have it out in order to prevent fires. This will dry out over next summer if we leave it in here. It will really be hard to get it out of here next summer. And like I say, we need to make sure it's out of here so that we can prevent this stuff from catching on fire. This is a really comfortable place to be. Started in the front, now I'm here. Started in the front, now I'm shoveling back here. One of our last days when we were starting to get full, I was just about ready to climb up this bin and see how full we were, see how much room we had left in it. Judging by the 10 bushels that started pouring out of the vent and onto the ground, I figured that was enough of our answer. I didn't need to climb it anymore.
Well, today we got one whole combine washed, the corn header, 8360 in grain cart, and three trucks and three trailers all washed. Plus, I got to go inside the dryer and clean that out, which is always fun. Uh, and we got a whole bunch shoveled underneath the dryer. So we got a lot of stuff done before the weather turns cold tonight because it sounds like it's not really supposed to get above freezing for quite a while. I was even able to wash my pickup yesterday. So now the only thing left to do is get a haircut. It's all pretty again. 